prepared for hacks, guys. What is going on today? I have a battle against Mikhail, another UU battle, of course. Um, and I'm pretty much out of Wi-Fi battles at this point. I I have no Wi-Fi battles that I really want to upload because they're against uh, the same people that I have uploaded previously, or at least somewhat recently. So I don't want to upload those. Um, so at least one of the days while I'm gone at PAX, there will be a um, a PM video or something. Um, I don't really feel like recording more of the Let's Play anytime soon. Uh, so that is that. But I ended up leading off with myself um, as he led off with Thonfan. I'm going to end up turning out into my Kingdra. There's no point in me getting my Stealth Rocks up first turn if he's just going to be spinning them away the next turn. So going out into Kingdra was definitely a good option here. I got some damage off on Thonfan. Broke its 30, which sets me up for success with Kingdra over here. Uh, he's going to end up switching on out into his Snorlax to absorb whatever I decide to go for. Obviously, I'm going to go for Hydro Pump since he had a Dawn Fan out. Hydro Pump is actually not going to be doing that much just yet because I have not set up a Focus Energy. However, I'm putting one up this turn. So that way, um, Focus Energy combined with Scope Lens, I get a guaranteed crit every single attack that hits my opponent. So going to end up going for Draco Meteor here. Strongest move I have. Um, and although Draco Meteor does lower your special attack by two stages, uh, it does not matter because crits ignore stat drops, uh, which is very, very good. So uh, he's going to be going for another Body Slam. Almost going to be enough to take me out, but not quite yet. I'm just going to be going for Flash Cannon here to take out this Snorlax because I don't want to risk missing a Hydro Pump or a Draco Meteor. And I knew that a Flash Cannon would end up killing him anyway from that spot. He's going to end up going on out into Gluttony, which is his Swampert. And thankfully... I do outspeed Swampert on the first turn, or at least on the same turn that it Mega Evolves, and he is not actually running Protect, so I am going to be able to get a Draco Meteor off, and this Swampert is going to be nice and prosperous underneath the, the six feet of dirt and inside a wooden box. So Swampert is gone, it's out of here, Kingdra is still staying alive, still strong, still fighting. And we are looking quite bueno. He's going to end up going on out into his Arcanine. And I'm thinking, oh, well, he's got E-Speed. Kingdra, you did good. Uh, you took out quite a few Pokemon, uh, quite a few annoying Pokemon at that. Uh, but it turns out that he either misclicked or does not have E-Speed on his Arcanine, which makes things a hell of a lot better for me because that is one more poke, or excuse me, one less poke that I don't have to deal with. So he's going to go out into Weezing. Uh, and I, I'm just going to click Draco Meteor. I have no reason not to. Uh, I know that Weezing it can be very bulky, um, but I can't remember if it's more physically bulky or specially defensive. Um, but regardless, it's dead thanks to Kingdra, Scope Lens, and a Focus Energy, so we don't have to deal with it regardless. Now he's going to be going out into his Dawn Fan, and uh, this is what I would have done, honestly, a, a while ago. He's going to be ending up going for Ice Shard here. Easily going to be taking a Kingdra out, as Kingdra is a dragon type, partially at least. Um, so this sets me up to not really do anything at this point. Um, the only thing that I can really do is go out to my Dawn Fan and pray to God that I can get the rocks away and then switch out into Ninjask. That is pretty much the only way for me to, uh, to really do anything useful at this point. Um, if not, this Dawn Fan could actually end up ruining my, my day. It could end up um, just earthquaking until everything is dead because... May not, may not look it most of the time, but Donphan is very, very strong. Base 120 or 125 attack, um, and with Earthquake and a Stab Earthquake at that, it's not pretty. Things things don't end up well, but I got the rocks away. I'm able to end up switching on out into my Ninjask, hoping to God that he clicked Earthquake, and he did. Uh, had he clicked Stealth Rocks, that is just uh, more damage that I would have to take when I Baton Pass out, and, and thankfully, he did not end up doing that. However, he is going to end up switching out here. Obviously, uh, knowing the Ice Shard won't be able to kill me and uh, all that sorts of good stuff. But that does set me up to set up a free Swords Dance. However, I wish that I would have gone for Substitute first turn. Um, but then again, Swords Dance did end up, end up working out well for me in the long run. So, uh, you know, what are you, what are you going to do? But I am going to end up going for Protect here. Just kind of scout what this Klefki wants to do and at the same time get another free Speed Boost up uh, while I can. However, I am going to end up taking the Thunder Wave on my Ninjask because there isn't really any way for me to avoid that. However, I break through the Paralysis and am able to get a Substitute up, which also grants me immunity for when I Baton Pass out next turn to any type of status that he might want to throw at me. So, I'm at plus 3 speed at this point, I think. I know I'm at plus 2 attack because I did get a free Sword Stance up. I'm going to end up Baton Passing out into my Mega Beedrill because Beedrill is nice and fast and strong. And... Um, he actually ends up going for a, a Dazzling Gleam as I ended up switching on out into Beedrill. 
obviously that's not even going to be enough to break the sub and then uh, he ends up forfeiting on this next turn because he knows that there's nothing that he can really do i'm at plus two uh, i'm a beedrill i'm at plus three speed i'm behind a sub i can easily take clef key out with a drill run and then i can easily take don fan out with more than likely a u-turn at that point um, so good game, Mikhail. This Wi-Fi battle is, has kind of been long overdue. I've been like going over it and like, should I upload it? Should I not? Should I upload it? And I, I'm kind of at the point where I have no other option but to upload it uh, because I'm 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 dead out of Wi-Fi battles. So I went through and cleared pretty much the rest of them today. Uh, ones that had po that pokes that are Ubers now, like Greninja or Mega Salamence. I went through and deleted all of those. Um, and it's been long overdue, and I am looking for a good fresh start once I get back from PAX, and I hope that you guys are as well. Um, I plan... I don't I don't. What was I going to say? Oh, my new keyboard came in today, but it's at my house and not at my dorm. Um, I'm, I might actually do an unboxing of that, um, because it's a really, really, really cool keyboard. And although I have no real unboxing experience on camera, I think that you guys would enjoy seeing the kind of stuff that I get in the mail sometimes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you back again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow will probably be a Project M video because, like I said, I'm pretty much out of Wi-Fi battles at this point. So unless I have a Wi-Fi battle tonight with someone, there won't be anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to click that like button. It definitely helps me out. Also, don't forget to hit, this, uh, hit that subscribe button um, because we are not stopping with these videos, not stopping with Wi-Fi battles, not stopping with any other videos that you have seen previously on this channel. And we will see you guys back again tomorrow. May the hacks be with you.